Right. And, and I believe that this is the only slide that we talk about this, but the blue SUIS distinction, uh, what, I mean, you, you want customers to have confidence in, in working with a manufacturer and being able to envision long-term, uh, long-term integration within their program. But why did Wingtra go for becoming one of the blue, uh, UAS members? And, and can you tell a little bit about that? You know, the blue UAS program, uh, it allows, so being on the blue UAS list allows us to work on federal uh, bases and lands and things like that. Uh, it was a, about a, over a two year process to get certified. We had to be some really stringent security specs and uh, where we sourced our materials, uh, kind of looking the best for both you know our country and security. And so the blue UAS includes you know, encrypted telemetry and uh, government approved software for safety and, you know, air gap systems and all, like a whole, a whole bunch. So I believe there's where there's not very many people on the, uh, the blue list. Right. And we are one of the, we were the, I believe the latest addition to the list. Right. Well, I think, you know, knowing that process, it's it's amazing that you guys went through it. And uh, I think that we'll talk about use cases, but Blue UAS, I think people typically think about, you know, public safety, law enforcement, potentially defense. And, and um, in what you were saying before about drones for good, there's no intention for Wingtra to be used for defense, but there is avenues for public safety. Is that correct? Yeah, we have a no warfighter policy in the fact that, you know, we do, as a company, we don't want the drone used in combat. Uh, but for like search and rescues, uh, border security, if you're looking to help, you know, make sure that human lives are saved and things like that, that we're all about that. Uh, I do want to make a quick mention about the Blue UAS. I know I had said, you know, for federal use. But there are, for example, I work with uh, people all over uh, California and Hawaii, and like for on the on Oahu and Hawaii, they have tons of military bases. So if you're doing something even like a shoreline mapping project, you're going to come into areas where you're going to need to fly within a restricted area. And we in our uh, planning software, nothing is like. Uh, blacked out. So you, we trust that with your uh, 107, you're able to decide on where to do the planning, and the Blue UAS allows you to get the permissions to fly into, uh, you know, more secure areas. Yeah. That you, even though you might not be planning the whole mission there, but it might intersect on some portion of it. 